Okay, so uh, that's the top navigation sorted out. Of course, we can add some additional effects yeah, to it, like uh, maybe a fade. And you can do that two ways. You can add you can add it from JavaScript or you can add it from just pure CSS. So hmm. let's do the CSS version since it uses some uh, transitions and filters. Okay, uh, let's see, display, position, absolute. Okay, let's target the first one, the first level submenu. So instead of um, display none, we're gonna use opacity zero. And also we'll use a filter We'll use a filter alpha. Okay, and it's gonna say opacity equals zero. Okay, and also we'll set visibility to hidden. Okay. Pretty good. So it's not showing. Uh, next. All we have to do is actually show it. So instead of uh, display block, I'm gonna do something like this. Opacity, I'm gonna set it to 10. Also, let's consider the filter, alpha opacity uh, equals 100. Okay, and finally, visibility, we'll set it uh, to visible. Okay, so now it's doing the exact same thing as um, as the previous menu. The trick here is to add transition. Okay, so filter visibility hidden, and now you can uh, transition the opacity. So we're gonna say. WebKit transition, opacity, mm, 0.2 seconds, for example, easy. Okay, let's copy this and paste it a bunch of times. Let's target Moz and let's target Opera and let's target, well, let's not target anything. Let's just put the property as it is. So transition opacity 0.2 seconds easy in. let's have a look and there it is yes perfect okay uh, basically the same thing goes for for this one okay for the level three and it's just going to show up the same way all right Good, 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 good. We're almost there. Let's um, take care of the main navigation. It's a pretty um, close principle. So UL display none. We'll get rid of this so we can see what we're doing. Okay. Um, so let's target Let's target the list items first. We'll do float none. Okay. And let's target the ULs, <clears throat> the level three. Display none. We're gonna do this the exact same way. All right. Um, Position will be absolute, position will be relative. Okay, background is going to be white. Okay, uh, we'll do word. 
wrap. Uh, not word wrap, sorry, white space, no wrap. Okay, we'll do, we'll uh, get rid of the, um, the before content. So let's see, in list item A, Um, the anchor tag padding 1m uh, actually 0 1m margin 0 margin right actually is 0 okay let's position this uh, I'm sorry left minus 1m okay so now it aligns with our uh, our separator there and what else let's give it a border okay so border one pixel solid border color Okay, something like that and let's also add a border to to the list item so we'll say border bottom one pixel solid and we're gonna lighten the border color by 10% oops okay that's pretty good Mm, except the the only problem that I have is the is the size of the sub menu. It's just too too big. Of course, it borrowed the style from uh, from the parent ones, but you know we can we can copy this, paste it in, and adjust the height. I think I'll go with forty two. So I think that's just a bit better. Okay, and also the font weight will be normal. Mm -hmm. All right, perfect. Uh, let's make it disappear right now so copy these so you will right here okay and now let's make it reappear so list item you will Say hover, you will. Actually, copy this. I told you the markup is very similar to what we did on the top navigation. So hover UL and hover A color. Uh, it's going to be dark color. Change it here. Okay, pretty good. Now, one last thing to do is the level three submenu. So instead of display none, use the same same properties as this, and position absolute, of course, left set it to 100%, top set it to zero. Okay, and we're
we're good to go. Um, except we have a slight delay here and that's caused by um, by the borders. So I'm going to do top minus one pixel. Okay, and that's going to perfectly align all of the elements. All right, nice. Okay, guys, that was it for this video. A bit longer, I do admit, sorry about that, but uh, I just wanted to finish all of the menus uh, in, uh, in this video. So I hope you guys liked it. And the next video, we'll move on and we're gonna style the uh, the articles and then the sidebar and in the next next videos we'll finish up with the footer but for now thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye